Hey, what's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is Danny James and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add these red laser beam effects on your music videos inside of After Effects. Before you get into the video, remember you can always show your support by giving this video a like. You can also go the extra step and visit my digital store at dannyjames.co for amazing preset packs and LUTs that you might find useful for your projects. Let's jump into it. All right, here's our footage right here. And we'll add the red, the red laser beam on, on this clip. So first off, start by finding the area where you want to add the red beam. In my case, it's where we have this mini glock on site hit ctrl d and then cut whatever comes before that just for context it doesn't have to be a clip where it's a glock or a gun in sight it can also be tracking the movement of the hand of the subject once you have that established find a rectangle tool you can also use the ellipse tool we're just going to draw a quick mask and then follow it frame by frame i'll zoom in draw a small box you can always adjust the size of the box later on. Come back to your selection tool and then position it where you want it. Then we'll enable keyframes for mask path. Our mask is currently on add. If I disable the layer that is behind, this is what it looks like. We can put it on none and then enable keyframes for mask path, follow frame by frame. Just try following the movement of the hand or the glock in my case. Uh, manually drag the points up to the end okay once you're done following that frame by frame you can easy ease those keyframes once that is done you can put the mask back to add so you can see the track points that we've created okay I can re enable my layer but before I do that let me just go to my effects and add a fill Put the fill on that masked layer so we have a fill with red in this case we want to add a red laser beam so just choose the red color under the fill once you do that go to your effects once again and look for sapphire rays if you don't have sapphire i will link down below uh, where you can get it whether you're using windows or mac uh, get the sapphire rays put it on that layer once you add that, you can also re-enable your background layer so that you can see whatever you are doing. I'll go on the first frame. Now with the sapphire rays, uh, you can just go to your ray brightness, increase it from 3, take it somewhere to around 10, 14. Okay. Find the setting for bias outer bright right here. Just increase it so that it's 0 0.5 or above. Okay. You can always readjust these settings afterwards. And then add keyframes for center x, y and raise length. Hit you so that you can see those two keyframes. I can start by increasing the ray length up to 0.8. And then the center x, y, you can adjust it by manually moving this ellipse. I will render at a quarter. And then you can go every two frames just following the movement. I'll go two frames and then just try to direct the ray of light in the most natural position you can keep on adjusting your ray length just to suit your look another two frames keep on adjusting the direction and i know it looks choppy right now we'll fix it by changing the blending mode for this layer let's just change it after we track this so we can keep changing the ray length and the center x y as you as you go on lift it up like that just so that you can get the beam of light shining across more effectively and then i'm also finding it hard to control it as it's a bit opaque right there so just change your blending mode something like add or lighten you can toggle between the two of them later on but let's start with lighten now i can see the nozzle of the gun at least click on the sapphire rays and then keep on doing the same adjustments that we've been doing keep following it like that and make sure it directs to the most normal position or direction Once 
once that's done you can highlight on all your keyframes do the same thing just set them to easy ease and you can go through it once you're done you can find out the perfect ray brightness for you and you can still come back to the bias outer bright and see what works better for you again on this layer we'll go to our effects and look for deep glow uh, if you don't have deep glow i'll also link down below it will easily give you the look that you want without having to tweak anything if i have to tweak anything here it will be the exposure but i think it's perfectly fine where it is i just leave it at 1.1 so now you should have something like this. So you can see it looks really good. Now if it looks a bit too big for you, as I said earlier on, you can always adjust this by hitting M twice so that you can see the mask expansion. You can reduce this to a negative 5 or a negative 10 depending on the realism of the, of the whole thing you'll keep on tweaking the mask expansion until you find something that looks good i'll still go a bit lower i'll go to negative 11 let's see with the mask expansion at negative 11 in my case it's now looking like this which is a bit more subtle and more realistic now we just need to finish this off with a little bit of flare right click on this blank area add a new solid Try to make it red so that it's the same color as the beam of light that you're trying to put on. Let it stay above and so that it can also start at the same time with these other items. Hit M on the layer below. Copy the mask. Paste it on this red solid. Hit M so that you can see the red solid. You can see it has those masks too. Now with the red solid, just go to your effects and look for lens flare or by sapphire. So the sapphire lens flare should be under sapphire lightning. Put it on that red solid. And this will just help us give the normal reflections that happen whenever a beam of light is pointed towards a screen. Find the hotspot color, which is this one. Choose the same red color. Now, once you've changed the hotspot color, we just need to make this blend a little more into our scene. Click here to toggle between switches and moods. Change the mood to a lighten or an add you'll find the one that works best. I will start with an add. We'll add a few keyframes. Add a keyframe for scale width. Add a keyframe for hotspot XY and the pivot XY. Hit you so that you can see those keyframes. The hotspot XY is this one. We will follow the movement of the hand, same with the mask. And then the pivot XY is for this reflection. So you can click on it. You can click on it and move the reflection. Uh, in the direction that you want i personally want to take it on this side and then you can always reduce the scale width uh, depending on the intensity we can go two frames move this hotspot xy and then move the reflection beam in the direction that we want this will be a matter of personal preference go another two frames Keep doing the same movements, just trying to ensure that there is a natural uh, reflection on the, on the screen. You can keep on adjusting the scale width as you go on, just to increase the intensity and reduce it depending on the, on the situation. And just keep on doing the same thing. Okay, so I'm done going every two frames, do the same thing that we've been doing since we began editing, put the keyframes to easy ease, and now it should look a bit more blended into the scene. Let me just play it back. You can hit T on this red solid and then reduce the opacity so that it's not that obvious. I'll put it around 70. 50 to 70 just try to find what works best for you and then as i told you you can toggle between these two blending modes to find the one that works best for you i'll put it on add in my case and in those few steps you can easily create this laser beam effect for your music videos and yeah that's it for me today i hope you did enjoy this simple breakdown 
in case you got lost anywhere just try to rewind just try to redo it step by step alongside with me and it should be a bit more easier this idea was also suggested by one of our subscribers meaning that you can uh, feel free to send any ideas that you have just write them on my ig i should be able to have a quick back and forth with you guys and that way we can all learn together my name is danny james see you in the next video peace